pressure has claimed another victim. I want to get out of this house and that's There's all. There's no point taking it out on me. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Jem's departure has left four in the firing line. Cheers, big bro. It's starting to scare us. I can't do this anymore. I'm done with big brother, I think. Who pulls? You decide. Addiction. And the noisiest audience yet. In just two weeks' time, one of our remaining housemates will be crowned this year's champion and win that £100,000 prize. Yes. Which has gone on display in the house. They can touch it and smell it. Yes. But you know what? It's not all about the cash. It's not. They will also join the very elite Big Brothers Winners Club, an extremely prestigious group, I can tell you. Yeah. Can. Now it's been a nominations roller coaster this week, yes. Instead of our housemates putting each other up for eviction, their friends and family did it for them, yes. And we loved it. Faye and Jay both received two votes. Harry got three. Jem had four. And Aaron was weighed down with five. Including one from Faye's mum. That had to hurt, it had to. Which meant Aaron and Jem were up for the chop. Yes. But, oh, I love you too, thank you. But on Wednesday, everything changed as Jem walked out. I don't like the walkers, I don't, yes. As a consequence of Jem's departure, Big Brother put everyone up who received a nomination, which meant a brand new vote started on Wednesday night. Yes. All four of them need your support to save them from this evening's eviction. To save Aaron, call 090-1616-1701. To save Faye, call 090-1616-1705. To save Harry, call 090-1616-1706. To save Jay, call 090-1616-1708. Calls cost 36p from a BT landline. Calls from other networks may vary, and for mobiles will cost you considerably more. This series you can vote by phone or via Facebook. Simply go to our Facebook page. Remember, there is a minimum Facebook credit purchase of one pound. One vote on Facebook will cost no more than 7p. For full terms, go to channel5.com slash bbvote. Now, this week, our housemates were not only shocked by Jem's departure, but also when Alex rode her way to victory in the fitness task. Come on, Alex. Yes. We also had a 90s rave, friends and family nominated, and who'd have bet on Aaron picking a camp tune from High School Musical in the karaoke challenge? Well, not me, not in a million years. Last week, Alex's endurance beat the odds as she roared to victory. I like this very much. <laughs> Couldn't give a fuck. I can't I am strong. You should let Alex win, Aaron. But she wouldn't win. Gemma oh. oh. will win. Easily. Oh, yeah. Can't be us anymore. What? Did Alex win? Really win? Oh, no. <laughs> I've done that task just to prove to myself that I could do it, and I did. Did it? 
and Housemates took another gamble on this week's food budget. It's like a proper bucket. How many chocolate balls will Alex eat? What for beef? Yeah. The punters must guess how long it will take to relieve Harry's foxtail. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go down in history as the shittiest fox ever. It's either A or C. Hi. High School Musical, because he loves that. Yeah. Well, pop it. A high School Musical breaking. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fly, yeah. There's not singing. a star in heaven we <laughs> It's like watching a poorly cat trying to okay. kill itself. Though Aaron was out of tune, it was Jem who was out the door. Jem, hmm? are you going? Yeah. I've witnessed you here being absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Anything you're feeling, you're feeling bad about, I want you to get out of your system and I want you to have a fucking amazing time. Look at that. Sorry to see you again. I let the Aaron thing get to me too much that it wore me down. Jen, you are no longer a housemate. With Jem gone, a task was set to spice things up. Got a little present for everybody. They must swallow a shot of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. 90s tunes for everyone to enjoy. It does. Jim made her exit via the back door on Wednesday. Tonight, our seven evictee will leave via the front door. Before we find out who's going, it's time to catch up with the house where they're still on a high after their rave. Dear 49.952 AM. Yesterday, saw Jem leave the Big Brother house. Your time in the Big Brother house is now over. Bye-bye. Jem's exit meant that Aaron was joined by Fear, Harry and Jay to face this week's public vote. But the dark mood in the house was soon lifted by a 90s rave. The party continued well into the night and left Fear and Aaron feeling all loved up again. Can you hug? Yeah. And this morning, the good mood has continued. Oh. Oh. He's getting excited about it all. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, guys. Work it off. A bad sign, do you feel? <laughs> All right, we ain't it. You look like a scarecrow. Good morning, Faye. Hello. How are you? I, th I thought I'd come in because I'm in quite a woke up and I've <laughs> woken up in quite a tripper mood. We had such an awesome night, and I've just got up and I'm very happy. It's really funny, actually. I've never felt as nervous as I, I am for tomorrow. Um, like, I feel weak, like, this morning, even though I'm in a happy mood and trying to mask the fact that I feel like throwing up and I literally could just be like... Bleh! And I'm so close to, like, the end now, and I haven't, like, had time to mentally prepare myself that I could be going tomorrow. I mean, it's just a bit upsetting that this could be like a last full day in the house. Because I don't feel ready. I don't feel ready at all to go. Aaron, do you go out dancing a lot? Yeah. Everyone will be laughing at that. I love it. Oh. That's not the desired effect. I was going for I was hoping that they'd be watching it thinking, oh, you can cut some shapes. Eleven twenty-two 
a.m. Louise and Alex have decided to do some washing up. Got a load more yet. Aaron is counting the deers to the final. 15 days. Absolute maximum. It's quite exciting, isn't it? Um, not when you think you're going tomorrow, not really. Oh, I think I'm going tomorrow, so just thinking if I'm still here, then carry on. But I kind of, I kind of think now I've, I'm pleased with my time here. I'm quite happy if I go. And just to be able to go out and slag everybody off in the paper. Yeah. I was just thinking it'd be funny, cos if I go tomorrow, I'm going to be like, so, tell us about Faye. Oh, OK. No, they won't, will they? Of course they will! Yeah, but, like, we're not... You're still going to be asking loads of questions. Of course they are. You just need to... Huh? <laughs> no, you need to, like... Come on, this no, always ends on. badly for you. No, it doesn't end badly. Like, just let me do it, please. No, no. Right, just come in, yeah? Oh, you're annoying me. Oh, tell me something that's new. One nineteen pm <laughs> can't believe how far we've come this far, how are you? I can't. Never thought I'd be here this long. No. Not in a million years. My target was two weeks. In the past, posh people have always left after, like, two weeks. Posh boy, blah, 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 why not? Well, you've, like, obviously just proved them all wrong. Have I got a hole in my shoe? Oh, what a shame. I think if anybody goes Harry Fay, um, Jay or Aaron, any four of them, there'll be a massive impact on the house because we're so close now and we've spent so much time together. We all get on, we all like each other. Nobody in here has a problem with anybody else. So it's going to be crap. But um, I'm just thankful it's not me. Tom, why do you think you've never been up for eviction before? I don't know. I've just been myself, so if people, you know, I've just been myself, so if that's the reason I've never been up, then that's a really nice thing. I wonder if I've got a hole in because the two size is too small. Oh? Yeah, they're four. Do they fit you? Um, no. Why do you wear them then? Because I really like them. Why did you buy shoes that were two sizes too small? Because I really like them. Yeah, you idiot. It's weird to think we'll be sat here tomorrow night watching someone go through the door. I'm going to be upset if anybody goes, but I think if Aaron went, that would be the person I'd be most upset about. I'd just be really upset if he went. Oh, I'd probably cry. I think I'm probably going to cry whatever the outcome this week. It's not going to be a very nice night. Alex! Buy shoes that fit you, seriously. Now, let me tell you, everybody in that house wants to make it to the final in two weeks' time. Tonight, another housemate will fall, but who will be left standing? We'll discover more in four. to Big Brother and live eviction number seven. With just 14 days to go to the final, Aaron, Faye, Harry and Jay are desperate to stay tonight. Only you can help them. Each of them is begging for your support. I don't want to go home tonight because I'm having a great time. I've had backing from you guys in the past and it's um, fantastic to still be here and feel that support. And when I try and summarise uh, my time in here and how I'm feeling about this whole eviction, I come with this conclusion. If you give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. You give a man a fishing rod and you save yourself a fish. 
I don't want to go tonight because I've had a weird tricky situation in the past week with Gemma and Aaron. The situation's now got sorted so I can go back to being my weirdo self. Um, I love it here. I had a few moments past where I've been a bit, ooh, but now I'm, I'm back on form again, back doing like my Hebrew impressions. Um, my hair's like a Persian cat, like a cow woman, and need Alex's magic hands to do it. And I still really want to be here for Halloween so I can dress as a massive giant banana or a Dalek. I don't want to go home tonight because I'm having such a brilliant time in the Big Brother house. Um, and I just feel being so close to the end now, it would be such, such a shame not to be here for the whole experience. So please, please save me. I don't want to go home tonight because I'm having the best time ever. Like, we're so close to the end. Like, I know it's my third week up news. I'm probably getting sick of voting and that, but I shouldn't be up this week. Um, just please pick up the phone and that, because do you know what I mean? I'm having a whale of a time and I want to stay. I want to stay. It's, it's disco. Love you, thanks. Full terms and conditions and all the vote information is, of course, on our website. Now, sadly, one of those guys will be leaving tonight, although they will be devastated. Here to comfort them will be their friends and family who've already been on the show this week when they phoned in their nominations. Yes. First up, I'm joined by Aaron's brother, David, and representing Faye, her mom, uh, Chrissy. Uh, David, nice to see you again. Now, uh, this week, you nominated Jem and Jay. Jem walked, Jay is up. How do you feel? Well, um, you know, Jem walking, obviously, that's a brilliant thing, but she's put four really good people in the house, really nice people, up for eviction, so it's not nice. Chrissy, you'll get your chance, you'll get your chance. Put those nails away. Now, um, Aaron has survived three times. Can he survive again tonight? I think he will. I really do. Don't you? Yes, yes. He's got a massive fan base. He's got loads of groups supporting him on Facebook, and I really think he will. OK, now you're standing beside um, Faye's mum. Um, what do you make of Faye and Aaron's relationship kind of this week and overall? I mean, like I said last time I was here, he does love the girl. He really does. He has strong feelings for her. I'm sorry you can't see that, Chrissy. I'm, you know, it's a tragedy. OK, tragedy. I love it. Um, now, Chrissy, you um, nominated um, Aaron and um, Harry. Uh, did you think, did you find that a difficult nomination, knowing how Faye feels yes. for Aaron? Yeah, yes, I did. Very, very difficult. Sorry. Um, I liked Aaron to begin with. After a few of the things he did to Faye, my opinion changed. It wasn't easy. I know my daughter has feelings for him. And if she wants to be with him, that's entirely up to her. And I'll back it. That's what she wants. OK. Now, we already have Jem at walk this week. Um, if Faye leaves tonight, that's two Palmer daughters left. How will you feel about that? Obviously, I feel gutted because I know this is Faye's dream. She's wanted it since she was a little girl. And she still wants to be in there. And I want the public to keep her in because she's now becoming Faye again. Aaron or no Aaron, Faye's becoming Faye. She's having more fun. Fun Faye, fun Faye. I'm now joined by Harry's very glamorous and tall girlfriend, Ollie, and Jay's mum, Sue. Now, Ollie, talk to me. How much have you missed Harry? And he actually missed your birthday. <laughs> I've really missed him, but, you know, I think he's having a great time in the house. He's making some brilliant friends, so... Now, you nominated Jay and uh, Jem. Uh, this week. Uh, stand beside Jay's mum. Do you feel slightly guilty now, Ollie? No, I think Jay's a, a fantastic lad and I think he's, he's done really nice this week. He's made he's great friends with Harry. He's having fun, so... Now, being honest, did you expect Harry to get this far? He thought he'd last two weeks. He, he's done quite well. Um, at the beginning, no. It was quite awkward, but I think he's doing really well now. He's come out of shell and he's... he's I'm just loving these random people behind you trying to get on telly, security. Um, and, of course, Jay's mum, Sue. Nice to see you again. Um, it seems to me it's a mixture tonight for Jay. Some boos and some cheers. Yeah. Cheers, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, what everybody's just got to understand with Jay is he's real. Everything about Jay is real. He's been a plumber since he was 15. Dirty, scruffy, underneath floorboards cleaning people's toilets out and all the rest of it. Now, it seems to me also his relationship with Louise has slightly stepped up a notch this week. Do you think it's, it's for real, it's a genuine relationship? Do you think they're in love? I think he is. I really think they are, yeah. Yeah, I can tell by the way he's reacting to it. He OK, just... well, remember, guys, play nice. It's only telly. 
OK. It's now time to catch up with the house uh, where they're getting ready to rumble. Woo! Woo! 2.49 p.m. For today's task, housemates will become wrestlers, but no ordinary wrestlers. They'll become sock wrestlers. As the referee, Aaron, has chosen which housemates will go head-to-head -head in the ring, as well as ensuring fair play. And in true wrestling tradition, each housemate has created a special alter ego for the fight. Weighing in at 196 pounds of pure, privileged, hotness is the king! The bedroom babe from Manchester, England. From glamour girl to slammer girl, it's Kitten the Killer! The angel of the north, the queen of scream, is Goldie! 210 pounds of pure British beef, it's the Dog Destroyer! She's the mistress of mayhem, Darcy out of Birmingham, England, and weighing less than most women, the ankle biter, a.k.a. the champ! In the first bout, Harry the King takes on Louise as Kitten the Killer. Three, two, one. Come on, Come on, Housemates will wrestle each other in order to remove each other's socks. The first wrestler to remove both their opponent's socks is the winner. So that's one sock to the king. Can the kitten fight back? Oh, and that's it. It's all over for the kitten. Awfully sweaty. Next, Alex's alter ego Goldie versus Jay the Dark Destroyer. It's a Geordie head to head in a David and Goliath classic. Jump on it, Alex! Oh, yeah. Hit it. Oh, yeah. Go on. Yeah. Go on, Alex. Good girl. <laughs> what? Back in your corner, you're looking at her too mean. Alex? It's all right. <laughs> That's one up for the Dark Destroyer. <laughs> oh dear, the little bottom. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, and that's it. Put your hands up if you've seen Alex's fan in it. <laughs> A great fight by Goldie, but the Dark Destroyer triumphs. Today's final bout, fierce professional wrestling persona, Darcy Steele, faces off against Tom, the ankle biter, a.k.a. the champ. Go on, Tom, go on. Oh. Go on, Tom, no! Go on! It's even Steven so far, but could the ankle biter defeat the pro? Go on, Tom! Oh, oh, oh my God! Tom! Come on, Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's one down for Darcy Steele. Certainly not what we were expecting. And that's it for Darcy. The ankle biter has snatched victory from beneath her feet. So there we have it. Our three sock wrestling champions are the king. The Dark Destroyer and the Angle Biter, aka the Champ. Are you actually hurt or are you just embarrassed? Which one? Hey, hey. I'm not embarrassed. Joking, <laughs> crikey. Oh! Ah! Ah! <gasps> Go on, Sour <laughs> grace. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
There's another battle raging here tonight. That's our eviction. Who's leaving? We'll find out more shortly. Hello and welcome back to Big Brother and live eviction number seven. Your vote really does make a difference. If you want to save your favourite, well, you need to do something about it right now. So call 0901616617. Add 01 to save Aaron. Add 05 to save Faye. Add 06 to save Harry. Add 08 to save Jay. Full terms and conditions and how you can vote on Facebook are, of course, on our lovely website. But wait, listen, voting closes in under 20 minutes' time. Yes. Before we find out who's out that very door, it's time to catch up with a house where the skinniest wrestling champion in history is getting to grips with the washing up. It's not me. Four or five p.m. Bow John Horn. Tabo. We little wrestler. Oh my little wrestler. Oh, I wanted to win. No, you didn't. You started getting all wound up. <laughs> you smell of shame. Of what? Shame. Shame. Probably just another shame. What's that mean to me? She lost to someone that apparently weighs less than most women. Aaron! <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <coughs> there you go. Cough it up. Why are you so horrible? I'm winding you up. I don't want to be wound up now. I've looked after. I'm embarrassed for I'm you. I'm absolutely gutted, if I'm honest, because my mates will rip the shit out of me. Well, forever. You, I would say ex mates now. And all my mates are guys, so they really know how to have banter with me as well. Tom's an intimidating character. I wouldn't mess with him. Oh, Aaron, shut up. You didn't do anything. We had to, all you did was just stand there in stupid wanker pants. Oh, I feel awful. Yeah. All I want to do is hide in bed so everyone forgets it ever <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd probably forget about the rest of it. Must be a housewife. <laughs> Four fifty-four p.m. G and Louise are talking about evictions. I'm telling you, the, the, the top dogs, who's up, who I'm up with, mm -hmm. you know they are. Yeah, but some of you. Well, you're not your so, master. Like, she voted for Aaron at the exactly. start, and she won't be new, so... So you don't know? She might even vote for me. Of course she will. Of course she'll vote for you. She knows I like you. Oh, I love you. So... Aaron is in the diary room. It's kind of a weird atmosphere because we're all kind of happy. We're all aware that, you know, tomorrow is a, a big day in this house, in terms of this, the biggest day so far in terms of evictions. Because there's four people that have been here from the start and, you know, have had a big um, impact, I guess, on life in the house. I don't know how it's perceived outside, but I feel like I've been involved in a lot. And so Jay, Harry, and um, Faye certainly have. So it's where I get, well, everyone that's here has had a big impact. So it's just weird that any of us are potentially going to be gone. From my own perspective, I'm, f I'm, I am concerned this week. I don't want to go, but I think it'll probably be between um, Jay and myself scrapping out at the bottom. I could have completely blown my chances of prolonging my stay this week, or um, if, the, if the public still back me, then it would be great to hear my name. 6.21pm. The washing up has been soaking in the bath for over seven hours. Oh, my back. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, that was funny. <laughs> He's starting to go like really well, be. I think another thing as well is that before, when there was other people here, I kind of thought it still felt quite competitive in a way. But now I just think whoever wins from this group, I think is you know deserving to be here for this amount of time. And stuff. Uh, exactly. I didn't think there's any competitiveness in it whatsoever. No, at all. There's no one who I want to like steal go more than anyone else. And in terms of fictions as well, this is a big week. It's the biggest week it's ever been, really. Because why well, yeah, I the fuck that the, like as much as like the others are top dogs, have never been up. In terms of other weeks, you've had like a bit of an inkling, you know what I mean? What's going to happen? Yeah. I think quite a lot hinges. I, th I, th I think I'm the, the dodgiest out of it because I, I could be. You're either going to be top or bottom. Like you've Surely. already said, I, yeah. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. Definitely. Can you believe next week is the semi-final? How exciting is that? But either Aaron, Faye, Harry or Jay will not be in the house to enjoy it. They'll be watching it from home. Who goes tonight? Find out when we return. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Big Brother and live eviction number seven. Our four housemates are poised at the sofas waiting to hear the news. There's just three minutes to save your favour tonight if you get voting now. You need to call 09016-1617. Add 01 to save Aaron. Add 05 to save Faye. Add 06 to save Harry. Add 08 to save Jay. Full terms and conditions and how you can vote on Facebook are on our website. Before we find out who's leaving, we'll catch up with the last part of yesterday's action where Harry and Aaron are fantasizing about life after the house. <laughs> It or 1 p.m. Fear has her eye on Aaron again. Aaron looks quite hot. What? Hmm? What did you say? Hmm? Aaron looks hot. <laughs> He's a bit too next catalogue for my liking. Aaron? <laughs> yeah. Harry and Aaron are discussing what waits for them outside the house. It would be weird if someone came up to you and asked for your signature. Weird, but so pleasing, I think, to think that, like, God. As much as I say, like, I don't want anyone to think I'm famous from this, I don't want to be celebrated for living in a house for a period of time and doing a sweet F4. But at the same time, to be noticed and for someone to... for someone to be absolutely sort of besotted with you almost, be like, wow, you're off big brother, it must be such a... I reckon it'll be more, um, because of the day and age, that it'll be more like photos on the phone. Can I get my photo taken with you? Yeah. More than a signature, I'd imagine. Don't ruin it for me. It'd be bizarre. <laughs> you signed my signature book for me. Yeah. I can't believe I've been in here longer than we're going at my girlfriend. Nine twenty-two p.m. The housemates are critiquing Aaron's distinctive dancing moves. Your dancing is amusing. It's like I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. You it's wait till you get out and everyone's doing it. You never feel like you miss me again. I, I laugh my fucking balls off. If I walk into a bar in Newcastle, I'm like, <laughs> with a <the> hand. <laughs> these hands, Aaron. What are they? What are these? What are those hands? What are them? It does that. What are those hands? Oh. Uh... Big brother, will you please put some tunes on so we can watch her and dance? What? Oh, oh. oh. music. Oh. Come on, Harry. 
everybody. Did you enjoy the music tonight? I did like we it. We did right? enjoy. Did you get your swagger on? The swagger is never off. Did the rest of the housemates get their swagger on as well? The first in a few moves. I'm Jack. Right. Brown, yellow, purple, and blue. Big up to the Raving crew. Okay, this is blue. This is the weird. Oh, that's so Louise. Oh, oh. This is Harry. I'm washing dishes, washing dishes. I'm gonna wash the fuck. Of course, fear. Faye is proper simmered sexy. Fear is just. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's getting. Last but certainly not least is Harry. You're a bit awkward, but it's quirky. We we'll get it. We we'll get it. You're a dad. You're a dad. Get your dad pants out. Like Jagger, I've got the move. Like Jagger. Then there's me and Ali. Like Do you know what I mean? Say no more. Twelve thirty-five a.m. Exhausted from their dancing, the housemates are doing what they do best. <laughs> oh, <a> cookie monster. <laughs> <laughs> How do you both feel knowing that this could be your last night together in the Big Brother house? Well, um, I set up a double bed. Go. That sounds so wrong. Well, for me. Obviously, you know. No, I'm having extent. cuddles tonight. Um, I don't know. I think I've tried to like put the uh, really. Come on. It's I've right. tried to put the whole. Uh, what do you know? Addiction. <laughs> I'm trying to have a serious conversation here, Aaron. I've tried to put the whole like. I've tried to put the whole like um, tomorrow process to the back of my mind, really, because if, if this is my last night or Aaron's last night, which I doubt it will be Aaron's last night. I just want to make the most of it, to be honest. I don't want any negativity coming into the situation. We'll ignore the fact she did that. Which the is melting pot. You better wait for me because I think the world of you and I will wait for you completely. For you. Promise. You better promise. Promise? The night. Promise. I promise. Promise, promise, promise. I promise. On your mum's life. On my mum's life. Yeah. Okay. Sit then. Uh -huh. One seventeen a.m. All of the housemates are in bed. It's a funny one to your part, my kid.
it's crunch time. You've made your decision. It's time to talk to the housemates. Big Brother House, this is Brian. Aaron. Faye. Harry. What can I say? Jay. <laughs> Your time has come. For the last 48 hours, the great British public have been voting to save. I can now reveal the person with the most votes and therefore safe is... with Faye. Oh, God, it's a bit. Best even. We get a move. He's got the most shots. Oh. Harry. And Jay. The next housemate with the most votes and who is also safe is... Jay. Thanks, everyone. Sorry, Ma. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck. That now leaves us with Sorry, Faye. Me, Harry. Time to move on to the eviction. The housemate with the fewest votes and who will be going home is... ..going to be announced shortly. Jay McRae, I told you he took his shirt off, I love it. Jazz, everyone, the okay. curse is being broken. Well you done, walk here, it's yeah, done, yeah, yeah. Any surprises there? We'll return in an hour's time straight after the final of The Bachelor. Join us at 11 when we will find out who will be leaving. You cannot afford to miss it. See you guys very, very soon.